Hello and welcome back to Byzantine Places. Uh, this is number eight in the series. I'm Sean Munger, I'm That History Guy. And today we're gonna to be looking at one of the landmarks, one of the central landmarks in Constantinople throughout virtually the entire Byzantine period. This is the Column of Constantine. Uh, today it's in uh, Istanbul uh, um, and still visible. You can see it here and the shadow that it uh, casts even in the satellite photo. But let's take a look at it. Uh, this column was uh, built to commemorate Constantine the Great, Constantine I, and he dedicated it on May 11th, 330 AD or CE. And he was, of course, the first Byzantine emperor. This is basically the beginning of Byzantine history. Uh, Constantine had, of course, by then consolidated his rule of the Roman Empire, but then he shifted his capital from Rome. He shifted it east to a place called that had formerly been called Byzantion, and he renamed that place Constantinople after himself. Incidentally, the term Byzantium, referring to the empire, is a modern term. It was first used, uh, I believe, in the 16th century, but after the fall of that empire. The people themselves called themselves Romans, even though that was something of a misnomer because they did not live in Rome, uh, but they were a continuation of the empire. Uh, this tower here was originally 164 feet tall, uh, and it's you can see it's uh, this darker stone here. This stone is called porphyry, and it's a purple stone that was very highly prized by uh, Roman and particularly Byzantine emperors, and it was made of these tapering cylindrical blocks, slow, uh, uh, gently tapering up to the top there. Um, the joints between the blocks now, as you can see, uh, in modern times, 20th century basically were uh, covered, are now covered in steel, and there's this structure to prevent the whole thing from collapsing. Uh, originally, though, these uh, joints between the porphyry blocks were covered by uh, bronze rings who, that were shaped like wreaths. And uh, the stone was also polished, so you would have seen it kind of uh, shimmer in the sunlight um, in Byzantine times. And this, what's now this square was known as the Forum of Constantine. Um, the bronze rings, incidentally, were removed. They were looted during the Fourth Crusade by the Western, particularly Venetian and Frankish Crusaders who carried off nearly everything of value in Constantinople. Uh, originally, this was topped, this column was topped by a statue of Constantine himself, um, but that collapsed, fell off the top of the column in the early 12th century during an earthquake. The column was already deteriorating in later Byzantine times. Uh, a cross was placed up there in, in place of the statue of Constantine. So this is just one of uh, numerous monuments that once existed in this square, which you can see it's a modern square in the city of Istanbul, but it was once the Forum of Constantine. Uh, and this was one of the central places in Constantinople. There were uh, statues of Greek and Roman gods, um, and uh, these created kind of a cultural continuity between Byzantium and the Roman <clears throat> and classical past from which it came. Uh, the lower portion of the statue um, down here was decorated with uh, marble relief showing some of Constantine's uh, victories. Important buildings surrounded this plaza, including the Byzantine Senate, uh, which is kind of a misnomer because they didn't really have any uh, power. It was kind of an advisory board. Um, but uh, this square was one of the most beautiful, and this column particularly is one of the most beautiful monuments in uh, Constantinople in its day. The cross at the top of the column was removed by the Ottomans when they conquered Constantinople in 1453, and the column gradually crumbled. And of course, this is all you see that's left. So uh, if you liked this uh, video and this series, please think about subscribing to this channel, give it a thumbs up and uh, share if you'd like. This is a kind of a crucial time for the uh, development of this channel. And we'll see you again on a future Byzantine Places video. Thanks.